at the other matchups. Class 1A, Colton Wagner of Bell Plain, three-time state qualifier, taking on Cody Johnston of Nashville Plainfield. And in Class 2A, bottom right-hand portion of your screen, Quinn Leith of Preston Orient Maxburg, four-time state place winner, and Tanner Hyatt of Ballard, a freshman at 41-4 and uh, four on the year. They'll be going at it, but McDonough from Lindmark, Coach, we've been kind of looking forward to seeing this young man wrestle. Two-time state champ going for number three. Smart young man, member of the National Honor Society, but he's also a quality wrestler. He is. He's wrestled smart, too. He, he can go low, he can go high, he can you know, you know, throw. He is a good, great scrambler. And I think that's you know one of the things that could probably you have to come up to down to Des Moines, basically, to, as a good set of scramble skills, you know, because you're always going to wrestle somebody very tough and has something that you haven't really seen before. And that's why he's a three-time champion. No score in that 3A bout. We've got a quick score in the Class 1A matchup. Colton Wagner of Bell Plain out, uh, well, now 2-2 two two with Johnson of Nashville Plainfield. Fikert in on a shot here on the feature match. He's got the bottom leg took, and he pushed the, the knee away. He's got an opportunity to score. Nice job by, by McDonough. Just see how that right leg is. He's got the shoelaces up. Yep. Being able to square the hips. Now he's cutting the corner. And that was a position where probably 95 to almost 100% of high school wrestlers get scored on. And he's able to create a scramble situation and score for himself. There's Look the at two. that. The hips stayed right with him, and he's able to come out on top. We may have a scoring position, takedown possibility in two-way. High up with the leg now, Leaf from Preston Orient Maxburg, Quinn Leith trying to take down Hyatt of Ballard Huxley. Hyatt, just a nice wrestler here. Did a nice job in the last uh, the semifinals match. And We've got 20, 20, 20 seconds to go in the 3A championship bout. McDonough leading uh, in this first period, 2-0. 21 seconds to go in the Class 1A bout, and that score is tied 2-2 two two between Wagner and Johnston. Seven seconds to go in the opening period. No score in the Class 2A bout. Cameron Wagner here of uh, Bell Plain here. He's placed fourth the last two years, so uh, this is a step up for him getting into the finals. Also, he's got a younger, it's not a younger, but he's got a twin brother uh, that placed third in this tournament as well uh, at a weight class lower than him at 125. Looks like Matt McDonough is going to go ahead and finish the period in the top position. That's but right. It gives me a moment just to mention real quickly here. Tanner Hyatt, freshman, beats the defending state champion. I mean, it, it, these these Ballard Bombers here, really That's young, right. you know, putting up a lot of points. They're going to be back. They're, they're, they're just loaded, you know, with young, great talent. And you watch that young man down there, and he's going up against the upperclassmen. Got a good set of heavy hips, and he really makes the opponent work. That's awfully impressive for when you got a freshman coming in and uh, at a, at a 130-pound weight class. I must mention uh, beating the defending state champion. Quinn Leith of Preston Orient Maxburg, a four-time state place winner. That's who Tanner Hyatt is wrestling. Hyatt from Ballard, a All-American in Greco-Roman wrestling out of at uh, the Fargo, North Dakota tournament. Now, Oh, nice Two job. to one is the score. McDonough, though, responds with a quick takedown. Nice job working off the elbow. And he comes into the turf and keeps that bottom leg hooked. If he's able to go ahead and turn those hips, get the belt buckle up to the sky, he got an opportunity to turn the shoulders. There's the, there's the situation. He'll be able to turn the hips first. The shoulders will follow. That's a, that's a flat-out pinning combination. Is he? Now he's going to try to work up around the head. Notice how he's got his shoelaces up, really putting a lot of pressure on. Now he settles back and look for the headlock. Bikert in trouble from Keokuk. Matt McDonough trying to become a three-time state champion for Marion Lindmar, and he does so with the fall. One minute to go in the second period. Matt McDonough, a state champion in Class 3A at 130 pounds. Nice job by McDonough here. Just a great scramble effort there. Great takedown. He just, he, he, so many skills hit you from so many different sides. Great scrambler again, as we mentioned here. Coach Doug Stryker at Linmar, been there 11 years. I'm sure he's got a hug waiting for Matt McDonough as Matt gets to the edge of the mat. Take a quick look at the fall again from McDonough from Linmar High School. Just settles back here. Nice job settling back. I thought he was going to go to the headlock there, but he didn't feel like he needed to. That just shows you he's got some strength. Leith from... Uh, Preston Orient Maxburg leading now 2 0 on Tanner Hyatt from Ballard. Ballard Huxley, you know, again, they, Ballard had the two way team championship wrapped up. Waverly Shellrock 3A 
Uh, Don Bosco 1A. All the team uh, championship trophies decided before tonight's wrestling began. A little bit of strategy going on here with uh, Hyatt's going to go ahead and take the, the, the uh, neutral position. Going to concede the escape. That gives Leith a 3-0 lead. About 150 to go in the third period. Very similar situation he was in in the semifinals where he was trailing fairly big against, again, Dylan Miner from Spirit Lake, and he was able to go ahead and come back and get the win. So got a big gas tank for a freshman. Always will keep coming at you. Cody Johnson of Nashua Plainfield leading the Class 1A bout against Colton Wagner of Bell Plain. Johnson, a two-time state qualifier. Good technique there by Lee. And the gold single. Gets the takedown. Preston here was just nice. Little stop uh, Hyatt shot and a little head whip action there. And came around and got the two. With 1.10 to go in the third period, that's where we are in the two-way matchup in the Class 1A bout. 1.38 to go in the third period. Johnston with the lead out of Nashville Plainfield. He's putting on a heck of a ride right now on Cameron Wagner. Cameron Wagner doing everything that he can underneath. He's doing the right things, getting his knees back up underneath him, getting that base underneath him. But just Johnson from Nashville Plainfield is just beating a hammer on top right now on Colton Wagner of Gulf Plain. Another takedown for Lee from Preston. Nice just counter action, counter shot. Seven to two the score right now as Quinn Leith of Preston Orient Maxburg, 35 seconds away, the senior from capturing a class two-way state championship. You know, that was nice. He led Hyatt up. Hyatt got the escape. I think the score is actually 7-2. Leith didn't even give Hyatt a chance to breathe, Coach. He was right back in on the legs. Yeah, and, he, and, and Leith felt that uh, that throw there. You see this overhook, double overhook, doesn't want anything to do with it. Backed out of it, gave up the escape. That's good tactical wrestling here with the big Leith. Quinn Leith of Preston Orient Maxburg is going to win the class two-way championship with five seconds to go here in the third period. He is up. Hyatt continuing to come on strong, but it's all over. Quinn Leith of Preston Orient Maxburg will finish up his senior season with a record of 45-3 and three and a state championship. Let's go back now very quickly and check in on what's happening in the class 1A bout. Cody Johnston of Nashville Plainfield leading Colton Wagner of Bell Plain by the score of 5-2 with 43 seconds remaining in the third period there. And the riding continues, Mark. Yeah, he's just, like I said, he's riding tough. He's, he's not, he hasn't been warned for stalling at all. He's not riding peril. He's getting off to the sides. He's breaking down Colton Wagner flat to the mat. You know, he's working the near wrist and the far wrist, and he's controlling. What he's doing a really good job of is controlling Wagner's hips. And uh, he's just he's just giving uh, Colton Wagner fits, and he's earning this. There's just actually a stall warning there on um, the top position on, on uh, National Playing Fields. Johnson right there, and a point, a point for Wagner. With 20 seconds left to go here in this match, it's 5-3, to three, so Wagner's going to need to get a quick escape and take down or reversal. He tries a reversal right there with that switch right off the whistle, and there's a roll. Trying to grab his position. Now he's trying to come back up to the switch, and it's not there. Have to be a good scrambler at this level, and he did a nice job of following the hips, like you said, Bart. And you, you know, Jim, it's the combination of moves. It is. I mean, it, it, these are the things you drill in practice, and I think that from a strategy point standpoint here, May concede, just give the escape. Now he's going to cover the hips. Nine seconds remaining in the third period. Johnston from Nashville Plainfield trying to ride out Wagner of Bell Plain for a state title in Class 1A, and he's going to do it. So there's